I recorded the whole video before realizing that I hadn't pressed record on this little thing that I'm holding here. So, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's fine, I'm fine. I just wanted to talk about Elliot Page. I am so hyped. Elliot Page came out as transgender. <laughs> Elliot Page came out as transgender. That is why I am here today talking to you through your screen. I am so hyped. I'm so hyped. I was so hyped when he came out as transgender. When I read that, I was just so, I was over the moon because Elliot Page is so cool. And I've always thought they were so cool. So it was just a big moment for me to see one of the coolest celebrities. I'm, I'm not even big into celebrities um, personally, but I've always thought Elliot Page was pretty cool. And coming out as a trans person who uses he, they pronouns just like me. Massive, huge, thank you. So hyped. I was so excited. And, and then cis people started talking about it. And now I'm just exhausted. That's actually what this makeup look is called today. Exhausted. I just wanted to talk about that um, for a little bit, if that's okay. Who am I? This is my channel. Why am I asking for permission? So I wanted to talk about some of the reactions that I've seen to Elliot's coming out that just put me on edge just slightly. Just the tiniest bit that made me a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe a little bit angry. But you know, I'm not, I'm not here to shout at you. I'm just here to do my thing. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Quite a few cis people who want to cover this story, who want to talk about Elliot Page coming out, who want to make the articles, make the videos, get the clicks, get the money, feeling the need to include their dead name in their articles or their videos or their coverage of this story. And can I just, why? Why? No one needs to know Elliot's dead name. Most people know who Elliot is. Most people were around in 2007 for Juno and all of that, okay? You do not need to open your segment or your article by blasting Elliot's dead name, okay? You don't need to do that. You can just say, oh, Elliot Page, that really cool, chill, confident actor from Juno. People will know that you're not talking about the other guy, okay? You could just show a picture. You don't need to say the dead name. You don't need to say it. And I don't, I don't care what the excuse is because you want to do a good journalism or because you're worried that people won't know who you're talking about. I don't care. You don't need to open your thing by saying Elliot's dead name. Please stop, please stop. In other news, some cis people have also felt the need to, you know, take this moment, this, this moment of Elliot Page coming out to the world as transgender. Some, some cis people have felt the need to broadcast to the world how much they would like to sleep with Elliot Page or how much they would not like to sleep with Elliot Page. Either way, they have felt the need to communicate to us all how much they would or would not like to fuck him. Please stop. Please stop. 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 We don't need to know. This isn't about you. I do not need to know whether or not you would fuck Elliot Page. It is just exceedingly creepy and strange to make this about you and your sexual feelings. Trans people are so often objectified and sexualized, just with, with no real reason. You know, they are so often objectified and sexualized in moments where no one is asking for that. No one is wanting that. No one is communicating that this is a moment where it is appropriate to express these feelings. And yet, here we are. Here we are in 2020 and some people still feel like it is appropriate to bring this up. It is not. Is Elliot even interested in you? No! Stop! Trans people don't exist as a, a reference point for your own sexuality, okay? Trans people coming out, th these moments don't exist for you, okay? And I just, I just wanted to say that because I feel like some people just, some people haven't gotten that, um, haven't gotten that memo yet. I know, some people who, you know, call themselves allies and stuff, so... Just letting you know that it might not always be super appropriate to bring your sexuality into this. What else? While I'm at it, let's keep going. Oh yeah, Ariel Scarcella. Let's talk about TERFs. TERFs. 
Um, this ties nice and neatly back into the whole objectification thing. I've seen quite a lot of TERFs on YouTube, social media, going on about how they are losing their lesbians. We are losing our lesbians, they say. And it's just like, um, you're lesbians? I'm sorry, do, do, do these people belong to you? Does Elliot Page belong to you? Did Elliot Page belong to you? Um, I just find that really creepy. I find it very, very creepy. It really reminds me of the way that some really sexist, misogynist men talk about women as, as Pokemon, as things to collect. Please stop viewing trans mask people as the, the ones that got away. It's so strange because it implies that you are entitled to our bodies. The implications of what you're saying and that rhetoric is just, it's so gross. People don't belong to you. It's, it's just so gross. It takes away people's agency by framing them as these lost souls that just got away. We are losing the butchers. Oh my God, give me a fucking break. They were never your butchers to start with, okay? Ariel, Ariel Scar, Scar Seller. Actually, you know what? I've been a bit harsh. Ariel, I just wanted to, to take a little moment to thank you, Ariel. Thank you. Thank you, Ariel. Because just before filming this, I watched your video about Elliot Page. And you know what? You gave me confidence. You gave me confidence, Ariel, because your content is so bad. I realise that this isn't the healthiest way to feel good about my own content. Just dunking on Ariel Scarcella. But listen... It's, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough year. And so I'm, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it. Thank you, Ariel, for f making me feel better about my own, my own videos, because yours are so bad. <laughs> also, I forgot to include this in my rant video, so I'm just going to include it here. People can be transgender and non-binary at the same time. Please don't presume that Elliot Page identifies as a binary straight man, okay? I, I don't think that Elliot Page used the word man in his coming out text thing on Twitter. So a good rule of thumb when people come out is just to listen to what they themselves have said. So we don't even have that much information about the words that Elliot uses to define themselves. And so therefore it's, it, it, it's, it's respectful to just kind of, you know, to not presume these things. So do we know if Elliot feels binary, non-binary, how he feels about his sexuality? No, we don't. And it doesn't matter. We don't need to know. We don't need to know everything. <laughs> and I know that my mirror is really gross and I need to clean it. Okay. I know. I know. This isn't my regular kind of video. Although, to be honest, at this point with my channel situation, I'm not even sure what my regular kind of video is anymore. The last two videos I've posted have been Sims 4 Let's Plays, and then before that it was like, kind of like video essays about Shrek and Shane Dawson. I don't even know what I'm doing. So generally my videos are um, scripted video essays. While I've been gone recently, I have been working. I've been working a, a lot. I'm just writing loads of scripts and then never getting around to filming them because I just don't feel like they're good enough. So that's where I am right now. And I guess, you know what, if filming a few rants like this helps me to get back into the groove of posting things, then maybe, maybe that's cool, maybe that's good, maybe that's fine. If this isn't your kind of content, then... I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. Um, don't unsubscribe. I'll, I'll be back soon with a song about how much billionaires suck or something, so... See you soon. <laughs> If you would like to support this channel and help me to make this my full-time job, then you could uh, become a patron on my Patreon. A massive thank you to all of my patrons, especially Mountain Snow, Reasonably Agitated Honeybee, Hazel, Alexandria Chloe, LPQ Silver, Unos Nocturne, Moira, Patrick Feeney, Mandy Spletcher, Zeus1257, Samantha Starling, Peter A, John Carmack, Metal Gamer 21, Ezekiel Panapucci, 
Ulrike LS, Cynical Boomer, Leon Sinclair and Jason Miller. Thank you all so much and I will see you very soon.